Good morning. It's seven o'clock and I'm heading out to a local forest. It's called Dyrhjern. Today's video is gonna be about red deers. I've never tried to photograph red deers before. And uh, this uh, forest out here is uh, very known for a lot of red deers. I'm gonna see if I can photograph them. I've got my 400 millimeter with me and uh, it's super beautiful morning. It's pretty cold. It's around zero degrees, so there's... Did you hear that? Some of the males, they are like signaling to each other that this is their territory, that these are their females and don't come too close or we will get into a fight. I don't know what it's called in English, but in Danish it's called uh, that the males are in Brunst. And uh, basically what that means is that they are pretty horny and they have a few months, September, October, every, every year where they're looking for females to mate. This makes for an awesome picture. I've seen some beautiful pictures of, uh, of these animals at this time of year, but I've never tried to photograph it, so today's gonna be it. I'm a little bit excited. <laughs> So I found the first male one and it's actually standing in there just in the edge of the woods and grunting and roaring and telling basically everyone else that this is my females, this is my area. Standing a little too far away and uh, it's also a little bit too much in a dark area so I'm gonna move on and see what I can find. Absolutely gorgeous autumn colors. If I'm not gonna find any of these males to shoot, I'll probably just shoot some of these autumn colors. Absolutely amazing. So I've actually found a big male with a lot of females around it and it's really grunting all the time. It's standing in, in a quite nice location but also a very difficult one light wise because the, it's extremely backlit, it's, the sun is right behind. Even though the sun is very low, it's very harsh light and then um, it's difficult to just get the exposure right. It's difficult to get the. Let me just. See. It's difficult to get the exposure right. It's difficult to frame this, the composition, and, and it's moving all the time. And it's. I, I don't know. I don't know if I got anything. I'm. I'm pretty sure I didn't get anything. Maybe I'll just shoot a little bit more of this big, beautiful animal. It's amazing. It's really amazing. It's not the last time I've been, been here. I just can't seem to go. It's, the light is absolutely beautiful right now. Look at this just through, just through these trees here. It's, it's a gorgeous morning. It's almost, there's no wind. We've got these animals just standing maybe, I don't know maybe two, three hundred meters away. It's a little bit, a little bit far away for my 400 millimeter. And I wish I had more 
shooting animals like this, it's, it's you can't really have a too long lens. You constantly want more than you have. It's a great challenge because these animals are moving all the time. So you have to move as well, but also you have to stand still and try to blend in. Um, which is really not the best thing to wear a red jacket, but uh, I'm, I'm a rookie at this, you know. I've never tried this before, so. Uh, I'm definitely, as I said before, I'm definitely coming back. Uh, and I'm so curious to see if I got any photos out of this. Because there might be something, and there might be absolutely nothing. But that's the fun of it, is that you never know if you're able to get anything. Let me just uh, quickly flip around and see if I can zoom in here. Because these are the, this is the group of animals that I'm trying to photograph right now. And it's a big male and a group of females around it. And uh, it's absolutely gorgeous with the frost still in the tall grass and all these scattered trees around. I wish that I could just get a killer shot here because the light is there, the conditions are there. But I'm just such a rookie shooting this. I think this is a pretty good vantage point. I'll try and sit still here for five minutes and see what happens. See if I can get something. I probably should get my tripod out. But I, they are constantly moving around so I think I'm better off just just trying to handheld the shots right now and then um, I don't know it's, it's definitely one of the biggest challenges I've ever had in photography I have such respect for wildlife photographers you know because the, the patience they have to get these shots and wait and wait in cold conditions and and this is like a Sunday safari, man. This is easy. It's, I've only walked for like 20 minutes. I've only... It's not even that cold. It's actually quite nice right now. But... Oh, oh man. I'm probably 100 meters away now. And I definitely don't want to go any closer. Definitely not. You have to respect these animals. These are when they are, when they are in this uh, season, and they're grunting like this. They are pretty angry bastards. So you don't want to mess around. Don't want to get any closer than this. So. Let's see. It's apparently one of the best places in northern Europe to to photograph these. So there's photographers from all over Europe coming here every autumn. So I have met a few photographers here and also one with really big guns. I met a guy from Germany with a 1000 millimeter lens. That must be epic. But uh, my time has run out and I need to get back. You know how it is sometimes when you've been shooting something and you don't really know how it went and you're really, you're really excited to get back to the computer and log in the files and have a look at it. That's how I feel right now and that's always a good sign. So let's head back to the studio and have a look at, uh, at all the files. I haven't actually been shooting that much but but the things I did shoot, shoot I'm pretty hopeful about so uh, always fingers crossed that I got something that is uh, worth showing. So let's get back.